As a student in London, I used to browse the second-hand bookshops on Charing Cross Road, where one day I found this, a booklet on Kajo Aru, published by the Indian Archaeological Society in 1975. Kajo Aru is a complex of 85 temples in northern India, built by the Chandala dynasty between the 8th and 11th century. The Kandariya Mahadeva temple is the largest and most ornate temple of the group. Kandariya Mahadeva means the great god in the cave. I love the temple's complex sikara or roof, a dynamic cluster of rising curved spires whose mysterious proportions make the sikara appear to simultaneously expand and contract at the same time. I spent the next two to three years visiting the library at Soas to research the architecture of Hindu temples and eventually wrote a thesis on Kajuaru. Even with modern digital surveying equipment, the form of the Kandariya Mahadeva Sikara cluster is incredibly difficult to survey and draw. To my eye, the plans and elevations of the 1975 survey do not quite capture the roof's form and proportions. So I decided to work out and backwards engineer the form of the Sikara cluster by learning about the sacred geometry and working a speculative setting out of the Sikara from scratch. In a treatise on the arts by Raja Boja, there's a series of organic geometric progressions called the Guna Sankalita, based on factors of 3, 4, 5 or 6. The mandala and chakra provide the plan and the starting point for setting out. The Kataguna Sutra, a geometric progression based on repeating fourths, seems to fit the best. You mark out a quarter of the plan, then you mark out a quarter of what's left, then a quarter of what's left out of that, and a quarter of what's left out of that, and so on. This gives you the proportions for the main sikara and lesser sikaras or uru shringra. The curved form of the main sikara and uru shringra are marked out in the same way. You mark out a quarter of the height, then you mark out a quarter of what's left, then a quarter of what's left out of that, and so on. Joining the marks forms a curve. Put this all together and we get a setting out of the Sikara cluster with half Uru Shringras, to which we add the quarter Uru Shringras. Working backwards then, we rework the plan with the main Sikara cluster with half and quarter Uru Shringras. Here is the elevation of Sikara cluster worked out using geometry compared with that worked out through surveying. Only slightly different but feels more realistic compared to photographs. With the decline of Chandala power, the importance of Kajuraho waned, with later Chandalas concentrating instead on the building of strategic hill forts against the onslaughts of the Kalachuri dynasty and Muslim invaders, though the temples continued to shine in the glory till 1335. What can we learn from the Kandariya Mahadeva temple today? How carefully considered geometry creates a unifying framework for a multiplicity of needs. To organize a site, work out form and structure, work out quantities and materials, enable scaffolding and access, manage a team of designers, builders and specialist trades, create a building that is sensual, tactile, dynamic, organic, evocative and rich.